just gonna let that go for a minute while I go grab something to drink. Cause something cool is about to happen. Sounds mostly right, I think. This is how you hype people up for a game, yeah. Why do they go all low res when they do that? That's weird. Well, Yokoso Mina, and welcome to Let's Play Threads of Fate, a square game that is pretty overlooked most of the time. Probably for a reason. But, uh, yeah. I played the demo of this game a lot, and I tried to play it a couple of times, like, on emulators and off of the PSP and other such avenues. But for whatever reason, I could never get very far in it. I plan to change that here today. Or at least over the next m month or two or so. Anyway, let's dive right into the game, shall we? I mean, I could turn the vibration function on, but, but would it even do anything? Alright, so we can choose our character. Rue, the tale of a mysterious boy, or Mint, the tale of a spunky girl. I've given this some thought, and if I remember correctly, canonically, at least, uh, this kind of starts from Rue's perspective, and his is known as the easier one. So, even though I usually go with mint, let's go through. Or maybe I'll flip-flop. I don't know. I still don't exactly know how that works. If it's like Sonic Adventure, because that's the first thing that I could think of. Where, like, you finish both of the stories and then a third special story opens. I have no idea. I never got that far. Well, that's not ominous. Oh, and of course, today marks the return of bad voice acting! Rue. Claire. How's it looking outside? I think it stopped snowing. I just saw some stars in the sky. It's strange. What's wrong? The sky. It's really clear tonight. It's hard to believe we've had a snowstorm for the last three days. I don't know. I find it a little strange. You're thinking too much. It's probably from staying inside the house for so long. Maybe. I know, why don't you take a little trip tomorrow? I'm sure the weather will be perfect. I think you could really use the fresh air. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna leave it done and go to the stream in the valley. And if I see a herd of deer there, I'm definitely gonna catch one. Extreme. They often go there to get water, so if I catch one, um... Yes, I'll make your favorite stew bring a hole to your home, and then she's gonna chop it up and turn it into stew. Damn, that's, that's real, it's, it's real forest life. What am I even trying to say? Better yet, I'll prepare a great feast tomorrow. I'm counting on you to catch a deer. No problem. You're gonna have a long day tomorrow. You'll need to eat well and sleep well tonight. I'm gonna prepare dinner, okay? That was it's a bit of a graphical glitch. Noting 
right now that I'm doing this via an emulator because um, doing it oh wow I had zero time to explore anything in the house at all that's a shame but I don't think I can really find anything it's it's been a while since I've even attempted this game last yeah uh, it's a square game and when I looked it up it turns out there are zero connections between this and Brave Fencer Musashi for whatever, for whatever reason, they look similar to me. Okay, let's eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. I could eat a deer. Wait. Also, I'm confused. Is she his lover, his sister, his mom? They never really did explain that. At least, not to my knowledge. But, uh, I'll try and pay attention this time. What's wrong? Why aren't you eating? I was just thinking. About what? About the day you came here and why our food looks so flat, like, literally. It was snowing that day, too. That was two years ago. Can you believe it? Can you believe our creepy... Final Fantasy VII hands with no fingers? Are you alright, Claire? I'm fine. Sorry, Ru. I don't know what just came over me. What's going on? It's coming from the barn. Something's disturbing the animals. Animals. I'm animals. I'm gonna go take a look. Be careful, okay? Don't worry, it's probably just a wolf or something. I'll beat the shit out of it with my bear axe hatchet weapon thing. What is that, anyway? <laughs> Jeez, what's going on? They're going crazy. There's no sign of a wild animal or anything. At last. Whoa! Creepy hand! Who are you? Ow. The basic three hit combo can only get you so far. Uh. Hey! I uh, shouldn't have done that. Leave him alone, you beast. Claire, run! Ow. Woo! She just hoed him in the back. Damn, that's metal. Claire! Wait, no! Bit. And so my journey began. I'll find the powerful relic and save Claire no matter what. What is the relic, you may ask? Well, I'm pretty sure we'll find out here in a bit. And there's the other character, Mint. We learned her name, so. It's already been three years. And I still don't have a clue where the relic is. Her, her inspiration and motivations for looking for the relic, because they're both doing that, are interesting. And we'll just leave it at that. Don't worry, Claire. I'm not going to give up. Hey, bro, I'm starving. Smokey, how many times do I got to tell you? I said I'll feed your fat belly when I get the dope. It's coming real soon. <laughs> I guess my bread of blood always comes through. Smokey and blood. I forgot that's what their names were. I mean, it's better than everyone being named food, I guess, but still. So, bro, how are we going to get the dough? Keep your voice down, bloodhead. Alright, listen up. A legendary treasure? You serious? Oh my god, his face! <laughs> I forgot how, how terrifying this game looks. Yeah, sounds cool, huh? I heard some magician made it, and it's hidden somewhere in this area. If we find the damn thing... Whoa, language. We're gonna be so rich! Eh, <laughs> bro, you're a genius! So what is this legendary treasure? Uh, how the hell should I know? It's legendary. 
Oh yeah, it's probably something big. Sounds like they're looking for the relic too. I gotta find it before they do. <laughs> for reasons that I would hope are obvious. Hey bro, what's that thing? What, that... Wait, hold on. Who's smoking and who's blood? <laughs> okay, blood's the skinny one. Smokey's the fat one. I think I got their voices mixed up at one point. It's fine. What, that red thing? What the hell? We're gonna crash! Was it- was it the pier? What the heck was that? And so we finally gain... Scratch that. This place, it looks so familiar. Have I been here before? Welcome to Corona. Oh my god, my nose! Oh, hello. How you doing? The name's Davis. I run the docks here. As you can see, it's pretty slow here. Not many tourists come in. Mostly merchants. Same people just keep coming and going out. Coming in and going out. Oh. Yeah, I recognize most of them. Hmm. Never seen those fellows before. Totally not suspicious. Alright, Smokey. Let's go check out the forest. There's some kind of old ruins there. The treasure might be there. Yeah, okay, bro. Better watch out for those fellows. Looks like they're up to no good. I will. There are ruins in the forest? Maybe I should go see. I love how it glitches out every time I end a cutscene. Alright, so now we gain control of Rue. Uh, let's see, you press start and it brings up the menu. We have HP, MP, Strength, Defense. So this is an action RPG. Uh, we can also collect monsters. Um, wait, what? Triangle? No, I just, I just, I uh, can't do anything because no buttons. Yeah, X to attack, circle to jump, attack number two, transform. Vibrations off because... Eh. And ten bronze coins, and also two hundred golds. Two hundred gold. Welcome to Corona. It's part of my job to welcome visitors. Well, I feel welcomed, I guess. There is also no music. But I'm pretty sure that's actually normal. Because we haven't gotten into the town proper, so let's, let's go do that. Holy crap, my ear. Wasn't expecting that. So this is Corona. It seems like a peaceful place. What should I do? Should I go to the forest now, or talk to the people in town first? Well, obviously, we need to talk to the people in town. Specifically, this guy. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Church of Corona. My name is Doyle. I guess that's not important. Our names are meaningless before God. Names only serve to distinguish people, but before God, we are all the same. Have you come to pray? Excuse me, would you like to make a donation? I don't have that kind of money. Okay. I I thought this was Dragon Quest and you save at the church, but I'm being a dumb. You actually save over here. Hello. I walked into these two guys and they hit me. It was an accident too. I guess you could call them hoodlums. I don't I don't think it was an accident that they hit you. I'm assuming it was the accident that he ran into them. But what we need to do is not that. Is register is um talk to this guy is remember what the heck I'm doing? Um <laughs> I could have sworn that's how you save though. Do I actually have to fork up money to save? I mean, it's better than limited ink ribbons. But we'll be we'll be getting there. Actually, not for like three more months, but hey. Uh, fixed dish camera angles. Okay. 
Uh, this looks like a tavern bar thingy. And that is so cute. My wife used to look like her. Hi, it's good to see you. Hey, this is your first time here, huh? Wait. I, I'm talking to the girl still because she's standing in the way of the bartender. Okay. But that did not actually... Anybody want to fight? Oh, you can rotate the camera with the uh, all and R one. Good to know. I decided to experiment with that because that's how you use it in, um... Only sometimes. But, uh, that's how you do it in, uh... Come back later, Hobbs. Who the fuck is Hobbs? Um... That's how you do it in... Ooh, Final Fantasy IX. If you're going to the forest, can you find Elena and bring her home? Elena's the daughter of the shopkeeper next door. Her parents went to study the ruins in the forest. They haven't been back for five days now. Elena got so worried, she went to look for him by herself. I told her not to go, because there's some monsters out there. Shiver, shiver, shake, shake. This is it. Register. Boom. So, that's right. It's not the fancy hotel. It's the shitty hotel. I'm not staying, but I'll sign my name for now. If I change my mind, I can pay later. And this is the shop. But they're closed for today. Elena. Elena? Elena? I heard there are many rare items in this area. I'm hoping to make a lucky find. Now, before we go into the ruins, there's actually a little side thing you can do. That I doubt I have the skill and stuff for right now, but hey. Also, shiny spot on the ground. Hey, a red thing. I... He's not here. Is this him? You don't live here, do you? No. Do you? Um. I can tell. You totally look like an outsider. I'm Graham. I'm just another traveler like you. Used to be a big time adventurer. My risk taking days are long gone, but I still enjoy traveling. Did some crazy stuff in my prime. I'm too old now, but on the bright side, I've gotten wiser. Come to me if you need any advice, I'll be around. Huh. People have a lot of lines of dialogue, actually. Okay, so we can't do that yet. I kind of assume that, because trying to do it at zero, at your level one, would be almost suicide. Pretty close. Anyway, let's head to the Corona Forest. Yes, depart. And so we begin our grand adventure. Can't rotate. Okay. Press circle to jump. In case you haven't figured that out yet. Press X slash triangle to attack. You gain MP by attacking. So, you have basic, uh combo or triangle which is a heavy attack you can transform into monsters by collecting monster coins it is easier to cross the swamp by perf transforming into a polywog hold down the square button and choose the polywog with the directional button and now I'm a cute little polywog ah! and now I'm a cute little polywog to transform back into Rue, hold down the square button, and choose Rue. So that's our main mechanic as Rue. She can, uh, you know, transform into different monsters and stuff. Slash, Bloom, Seed, Tail Slot, Bite. I love the little monster coins, though. They're super adorbs. Alright. And this is a chest. You open it. Bronze coin allows you to continue when your HP becomes zero. Silver and gold coin allow you to continue your game as well. You can find these coins in treasure boxes. So there continues. That's right. I remember them now. Thank you for reminding me again. And we can gain some MP by beating up these monsters. And now we have the wolf power up. It is important that we have that, so... It's good that we did. 
And there's kind of like a hidden experience bar from what I... What little I remember of this game. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Yeah, see? Now we have 62 health. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't quite remember how this whole thing works. Is it like Final Fantasy 2 where I'm gaining HP by being hit? I hope not. But yeah, as Rue, I find it's usually better to just stick with your light attacks, they're much faster. And they will cause you not to die. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's transform into that Poliwog. Also, Saber Tiger. Tail Slap! Tail Slap! Tail Slap! I can't remember how you gain stats in this game. I'm gonna have to look that up, aren't I? Because it's like, it's it's triggered by something, I assume. That's kind of how these kinds of things usually work. Oh, we're already here? <laughs> what the? Please, let me go! Come on, baby. We ain't gonna hurt you. We just want a little food. That's all. Damn, that sounds really bad when you take it out of context. We haven't eaten for two days, you know? Jesus Christ, is that actually what this is all about? Have, have I missed that the whole time? Yeah, I ain't got no money for dinner. <laughs> what do you say, babe? Yes, what? What do you say, baby? Got anything to spare? I don't have any money. <laughs> Let's rough her up. What should I do? I have to be careful. She might get hurt. What am I thinking? I can't go out like this. I better pick something else. And she says the same thing if you transform into Saber Tiger. So obviously what we need to do is transform into a cute little polywog. This is good. Hoip. Huh? Hey bro, we got company. It, it's just a polywog butthead. Ah, oh, please let me go. Jump! Yo, bro, he bit me! Alright, let's chop him up. What if this polywog suddenly transformed into a deadly wolf? And they're just like, what the fuck? Hit and run! That's that's my usual ow strategy. It it might be like Final Fantasy 2 where you level your HP by getting hit. That would be a scary prospect if true. She can't fight on an empty stomach, you know? I'm gonna run away now. Hey, hey bro, wait for me! <sighs> okay. Are you okay? Thank you, Polly! Wow, you can turn into a person too? Po Polly? Oh, I'm, I'm not a polywog. This is the real me. But I saw you, and when you came out, you were a polywog. That was just a disguise to catch them off guard. My name isn't Polly, it's Rue. Oh, okay. Your name is Rue, and you're a polywog. No, no, I... Mm, I really like Polly, though. Can I call you Polly? Um... How should I explain this? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. Thanks again for helping me, Polly. My name is Elena, right? How did you know? I heard your name in town. You're out here looking for your parents, right? By the way, I'm not a... Oh, so that's how you knew. I thought you were a fortune-telling polywog. Like I told you, I'm not a... You're right. I'm looking for my parents. They've been gone for five days now. I know they're supposed to be here somewhere. Uh, I'm so worried about them. <gasps> 
Those brutes might go after my parents. I have to go find them fast, Polly. It was nice meeting you. Hey, wait! I'll go with you. Let me help you look for your parents. Oh, really? Gee, you're such a nice Pollywog. Thanks, I really appreciate this. Okay, let's go, Polly. Follow me! It's not Polly. Jeez, Thicker really thinks I'm a monster. Maybe I am. Whoa. That got too deep and too real too fast. Slow down. I think it's this way. Come on. I feel like there was like a chest around here somewhere. Eh, I'm probably wrong. Okay, let's go. And we return back to normal adventuring. Dad, Mom! Oh. I thought... I thought this led to... Okay. Elena, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? You haven't come home for five days! I was so worried about you. Dad, what happened to your leg? Uh, it's nothing. I just twisted my ankle a little. I can still walk. Yeah, thank goodness. I'm sorry, darling. I guess I became too caught up in my research again. I can't believe you came here by yourself. Are you alright? I'm making him way older than he actually is. This is gray hair. It's throwing me off. Actually, some brutes almost mugged me, but Rue the Polywalk saved me! Rue? The Polywog? Hello? You're... That's Rue, but I call him Polly. Polly's really amazing. He's a Polly, but he can turn into a person. But usually he's a person and his name is Rue, so I called him Rue the Polywog. Oh, oh, hold, hold on, honey. I'm getting confused. So, your name is Rue, right? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rue. My name is Klaus. I live in Corona with my family. Have you met my brother Lucas? Sorry. Sorry! <laughs> oh, and that's my wife Mira, by the way. Hello, Rue. It sounds like you helped Elena through a lot of trouble. Well, thank you for helping her. Yes, thank you. Gosh, I'm so ashamed. I completely forgot about my daughter! The relic was the only thing on my mind. Relic! Are you looking for the relic? These voices really do a toll on my throat. Well, yes. I'm looking for the relic, too. Well, this is a coincidence. So, Rue, why are you looking for the relic? So you came to Corona to look for the relic? Yes, I have to find the relic, no matter what. Sir, is there anything you can tell me about the relic? In brackets. I'm sorry. We just met, and I'm being so pushy. My, you're so serious. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Excuse me. If I were in your shoes, I'd be just as... earnest. So if there's anything you want to ask me, please don't hesitate, okay? It's not sir. Just call me Klaus, or doctor, if you must. Oh, by the way, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, anything. I was thinking, if it's okay with you, why don't we look for the relic together? Of course. I'd be happy to. Great! It's decided, then. Thank you, Rue. Let's do our best to find the relic. Yes, thank you. Well then, let's get started. Rue, can you please follow me? Splorp, splorp, splorp. Gee, it's so steep! Somewhere down there, there's a path that leads to the atelier. Remember that word? What is an atelier? It's a magician's workshop, or sometimes alchemist. Supposedly about a hundred years ago, a magician lived in this forest. We believe that this magician did some research on the relic. If we go to his atelier, maybe we can get more information about the relic. I refuse to call it an atelier, by the way, because that sounds stupid. This is also where I very first- the first time I ever heard the word atelier. And it's stuck with me ever since. If the legend is true, there should be some kind of a special area down there. The path that leads to the atelier should be hidden somewhere there. 
But as you can see, the cliff is steep, and we can't get down there. Before you two came, I tried to get down there, but that's when I slipped and twisted my ankle. I can do this. Doctor, I'll give it a try. I'll get down there somehow. You're kidding! I'll try to find a safe path. I'll meet you all down there, so please take your time. Are you sure you're gonna be alright? How am I standing on a sprained ankle? I heard there are monsters looking all about these cliffs. I'll be fine. I've survived greater dangers before, it doesn't matter. I'll do whatever it takes to get the relic. Well, be careful, alright? Good luck, Polly! Thanks. By the way, it's not Polly. I'll see you all later. They're a very eccentric bunch. But we'll be getting to know them very well, I think. Anyway, we've got a couple new monsters down here, so let's, uh... Let's grab this monster coin! And we could transform into a stinger if we wanted to. It's not really a super great reason for doing so, but you could. Anyway, we gotta traverse these mountain cliffs. But if you go over here, you can get to this rock and beat the crap out of it and nothing ever happens. Okay. <laughs> Ow! But yeah, I'm definitely gonna look up the, uh, the stat games and how to. So. Be assured of that. Don't worry. I'll learn. Maybe it's by the amount of potions you get? But I got some HP while fighting uh, Blood and Smokey. Also, this thing is being real irritating! Okay. And now we're here. Gargoyle face. Face the gargoyle? I'm facing the gargoyle! Yeah, no. Obviously you need to do a little bit more than that. This is also a little bit of a combat trial, so you're gonna have to defeat a, a few gargoyles. One, two, sixteen. Also, we can recover HP in that spring. Did I... Oh, I did pick it up. So we can get the gargoyle transformation. We can also double jump. It's it's pretty awful, but you can. When you face the gargoyle as gargoyle, it creates a staircase. Mint's version of that puzzle is a little stranger, but uh, we'll get there. Probably, eventually. I mean, I plan to do both, even if it doesn't unlock a super secret special story, but this kind of thing always does, so... This is the atelier. I really hope we can find some clues in there about the relic. That'd be nice. It'd be even better if I didn't have to, like, fight a giant monster. Jeez, the atelier has a guardian? This is Nightmare! And he's a giant horse guy! And I can't remember how to fight him. You just kind of run and smack him a little bit. I could probably get like two attacks in. Whoops. Yeah, I can actually get a full combo in. No I can't! No I can't! No I can't! I'm sorry! Haha! Uh -huh. Yeah, not the not the hardest first boss you'll ever fight. Ah! Not the hardest first boss you'll ever fight. Ow! Sorry, I have to move on. Also, ow! My everything. My freaking everything. It was very rude. Don't do that anymore. Rue! Oh wait, she wouldn't call her Rue. 
We heard some terrible noise. Are you alright? I just fought the Atelier's guardian. And you beat him? Yeah. Wow, I'm sure it must have been a tough battle. Eh. As far as action RPG boss fights go, it ranks pretty low. Poliwoggy Roo can handle anything! How's your leg, Doctor? It feels great. After I saw the Atelier, the pain just disappeared. That's how that works, right? <laughs> what? Wow, I can't believe we're here. Okay, Rue, let's go have a look inside. It may be dangerous, so you two wait out here, okay? What if then? What if another guardian showed up? Polly, aren't you tired? I'm gonna take a look around. You do that. I'll take a look around. Inside. Inside. You have to be off-center <laughs> to open the door. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, it's definitely a magician's workshop. This is absolutely amazing! Look at these old documents! They're incredible! Ugh! Ah! My leg! And if we, uh, stumble around here, we can find a moonstone. What does a moonstone do, you may ask? It's... it's a stone of the moon. I'll look it up later. Um... Nope, we will check that in a bit. That's like the last thing you're supposed to do, I think. I can't believe this! Anything cool in the books? Got a silver coin. Anything cool over here? Hey! Extra moonstone. Never hurts. Alright, let's go check the vault now. Apparently, we're not allowed to just jump down there. Uh, black! Black! Okay. This door is huge. Looks like it's locked. I wonder what's inside. Here, let me take a look at it. Hmm, this is rather tricky. Hmm... Aha! There's a switch! Well, that was easy. Um... Amazing! This manuscript must have been written centuries ago! Can you read it? Not a problem. Analyzing ancient manuscripts is one of my specialties. Polly! Polly! Polly, come here! Why are your shoes mismatched? Look, your friend is here! I... 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 Right, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go back inside now, okay? Aren't you gonna go say hi? That's strange. I thought I just saw someone pass by. That's not good. It's Black Arm Man! Well, I finished skimming through this. It's a diary that was kept by the magician. It has detailed records of his research. It appears this magician was doing research on the creators of the relic. The creators of the relic? Yes, they were known as Aeons. About a thousand years ago, some powerful magicians called Aeons ruled the world. According to some legends, these Aeons even had the power to change the orbit of stars and blow up planets and, you know, the like. I heard there were no more Aeons in this world. That's right! Despite their godlike powers, they weren't immortal. Unlike that guy at the end of uh, Xenoblade, am I right? <clears throat> Definitely not spoiling too much more than that. As time passed, their powers weakened, and eventually they all died. Now all that remains are the items they created many years ago. And those items are the relics. I heard some of the relics have the power to grant any wish. They're hidden all over the world, right? Yes! They're all just waiting to be found. I don't care how long it takes me, my dream is to find at least one relic. If you find a relic, what are you gonna do? 
Hmm, I have no idea. I haven't thought about that yet. Right now I'm just excited about looking for it. I guess I'll think about it after I find it. I see. How about you, Rue? Huh? Oh, um... What a stupid question! I better get her voice down. <clears throat> We're talking about a relic that can grant any wish. Even a kid can figure it out. There's only one thing to wish for. World domination! I'm gonna rule the world. Yeah, that, that's the reason she wants the relic, guys. There's kind of a reason behind it, but that's her motivation. Okay, guys, you know everything you found in here. You got a problem with that? Didn't think so. Okay, come on. Chop, chop. Hey, I don't know who you are, but we're not giving you anything. Hm, you obviously have a death wish. I'm Princess Mint. Nobody says no to me. Just for that, I'm going to beat you to a bloody pulp. Doctor, please stay back. Hey, are you alright? Uh, world domination. Blech. What should we do about this girl? Hmm, we can't just leave her there like this. Whoa! Yes, I'll spare both of you for today. You guys are so lucky. But remember this! I'm gonna rule the world someday! Ow! Okay, bye. What was that all about? Hmm. She reminds me of someone. Oh well, let's get going. Okay. <laughs> it's like, well, that happens. Okay, let's go back home. And so back home we go, to the town of Corona, our home base. Thanks again, Miss Cartha, for letting Rue stay at your end. Oh, don't mention it. Rue, make yourself at home, okay? Thank you. I really appreciate it, but is it really okay? Of course. It's the least we can do. Rue, you've done so much for us. You helped Elena in the forest, and you helped my husband with his work. Actually, it's more like a crazy hobby, huh? Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Klaus wants to talk to you. Maybe he wants to talk more about today's findings from the atelier. <sighs> Excuse me. Come by whenever you want, okay? And we shall do so next time on Let's Play Threads of Fate. I almost forgot the name of the game. Hello, are you here to register or take a break? Recover and. So join me next time when we head to the Atelier. Those things are darkened. That tells me I need to complete both stories. Now the question is, do I complete them both, like, separately? Or do I complete them both on the same file? I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll look it up. Until then, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, ring the little bell for notifications on all my uploads. And... In the description below are links to my Twitch and Twitter accounts, so be sure to follow those for some streaming goodness. Soreja, mata. Wink. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong eye again. <laughs>